Okay, we're going. Huh. Oh my god, I get so nervous. Okay, what's up? My name is Alex, and this is like the first kind of talking video I'm gonna do now that I'm back in Minnesota from studying abroad. So uh, first of all, I studied abroad in Norway. Uh, for six months and then uh, me and my friend Megan she was studying abroad in Barcelona we went backpacking uh, throughout Europe for two months and visited I think 22 different cities yeah I feel like I saw a lot about like dressing European so it's the seven tips to dress more European for guys I mean girls can follow some of these I don't really know girls fashion and I'm not some fashion expert I just learned these things like when I went to Europe and I had no clue how to dress I had no clue what to wear everyone kind of like made fun of like what I wore and yeah I don't want to make you go through that <laughs> all right So why should you dress more European? The biggest reason is that if you look like a foreigner, if you look like a tourist, then you're more likely to be pickpocketed, first of all. I feel like pickpocketers target people from America and then like people from Asian countries. Like that's what people tell me. No one wants to be pickpocketed. Like you're probably poor, you're probably from college because you're studying abroad. And second, just kind of adapting and kind of like showing that you're adapting to their culture, even though it's just dressing. So you don't scream like, hi, I'm American, like when you go to like a different place. And the social norm for your is dressing with more fashion. In America, we like to value comfort over fashion. Like, we'd rather be comfortable than be fashionable. But like, what I noticed in Europe is they value like fashion over comfort. We like wear our workout clothes like during the day. All the Europeans that I talk to like don't understand it. So, number one, buy a pair of trainers or sneakers, preferably white. So I mean like, I'll show you. I bought these when I got back because I saw them a lot in Europe. These Adidas, they're superstars. These are white pairs of shoes that I usually wore. I had these as like my workout shoes. Apparently Nike is not too popular in Europe. And then these Clarks I wore everywhere. I'm not sure if these are still in fashion. I got compliments on them from Europeans. Um, some like good brands are like Vans, Nikes, Adidas, Converse, Timberlands if it's winter. Just like a nice pair of shoes. Like, Europeans really care about their shoes. Number two, like I said before, when you're not working out, don't wear your workout clothes. So like, strictly working out clothes, and then strictly day clothes, and then strictly like nightlife clothes. I've heard of like multiple stories where I have like American friends, and they wear like gym shorts throughout Europe, and then people laugh at them, and they can't enter the churches because you like need to look presentable. Not, not recommended. Three, so this is about jeans, this is about pants. They love jeans. So just get a pair of jeans, get like a few pairs of jeans, get some that fit you. Like get slim jeans or get skinny jeans. Like avoid the baggy jeans. And also like the reason I love jeans is that they don't smell for like a long period of time. Like you can wear them for like weeks. Not recommended. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Four. Something that I learned when I went there, so Europeans wear shorter shorts. And this is during the summer, so this might not apply for you if you're like going in the winter. But like during the summer, like I was wearing like long swim shorts, like long board shorts. And then Andrew came up to me, he's from the UK, and he was like, oh my god, like why are your shorts so long? And like everyone's like, yeah, like what's going on? So like, I mean, it was it was normal for me, but like it wasn't normal for everyone else. So it's just like you kind of stand out. And like the whole thing about sitting abroad, I just kind of want to like blend in. I kind of wanted to adapt. I bought a pair of like short shorts. Not short shorts, but just above your kneecap. Above your kneecap is okay. And then five, this is actually really important, five. Wear neutral colors. So neutral colors are like gray, black, white, and brown. Once you have like all neutral colors in your clothes, like what you pick every day, then it's just really easy to kind of just like find an outfit to wear throughout the day because everything just goes together. It's easier to look presentable without even trying. Okay, so six, ditch the graphic tees. Throw away, not throw away, but just leave all of your graphic tees. Instead of like graphic tees, wear a solid color anything. Because it's easier to like pair things together if they don't have anything on it. If you do have like a graphic or something on it, keep it something minimal or you can like just kind of like a design throughout the whole shirt. It's just something that I noticed and something that people told me. I had so many graphic tees when I went and I was like, what? Like, come on. Maybe just don't wear it if you're going to Europe because you'll notice this when you get there. You'll notice all of these things when you get to Europe. I'm just like telling you these in advance. All right. So seven, this is the last tip. So um, layering is a big thing. So this is especially like nice when you have neutral colors and you don't have graphic tees. So then you can just layer, just like kind of shirt on top of like sweatshirt on top of like jacket and then 
I mean, you're golden. You're great. Like, that's that's all you need. All right, so, I mean, I did not have any Euro-looking clothes before I left. When you're kind of, like, already in Europe, then just go to your nearest cheap fashion store, which would, for me was H&M, or, like, in the UK, it's, like, Top Man. You can go to Zara. It's another good place. Pull and Bear, too. That's a Spanish store. These are my favorite shops, but, like, you can, like, ask around and see, like, what your nearest shop is. All right, so please leave behind baggy and straight jeans. Just don't. You'll realize that no one wears baggy or straight jeans. It doesn't have to be skinny. It can be just real fit. Leave home your cargo shorts. That's not European. I don't know. Like I said, leave home your graphic tees. Leave home, like, bright colored clothes. Especially if you're in Scandinavian countries like I was. Like, people don't like to stand out. Like, leave home flip-flops. Leave home sandals. Unless you're going to the beach. Or if you're, like, taking a shower in your dorm or whatever. Like, don't go out with them. I don't know, like, socks and sandals. Like, I don't know how this started in America. Or how this even started in general. Like, it's a really sporty look. But it will not fly. Um, also fanny packs. I hope you're not, like planning to wear a fanny pack throughout Europe. <laughs> so like, just keep in mind, these are all tips if you want to blend in. Like, this is not to say that you shouldn't wear this stuff. You can totally wear whatever you want. I'm just telling you what, like, the social norm is. All right, so I mean, yeah, I kind of want to make more videos like this. Yeah, if you have anything else, if you have any other tips, any other things that I missed, just comment them, because I want to know too if I like tell other people. So yeah, but this was my tips to how to dress European, how to dress more European. If you care, you don't have to dress European when you go. Like, you can totally be proud to be American or be proud to be whatever you are. I'm proud to be American. I don't know about if I'm proud right now through everything that's happening with the government. So I plan to make more videos. So this is why I want to post more videos. But like before I studied abroad, I looked on YouTube and I looked for like tips and like I didn't find as much as I wanted to. So I just want to like help anyone who's going to study abroad in Europe or help anyone who like wants to know these things before they go because I learned them the hard way when I went there. But maybe it'll be nice to kind of like already have this all down and look like you know what you're doing. So yeah, I want to help you out. All right, anyway, that's the end. All right, peace, peace, bye, bye. All right, bye. <laughs>